Okay, we're going to talk about the directional terms proximal and distal and answer the questions, what are the definitions for proximal and distal and what ways are they used in anatomy? Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Morton and I'm the noted anatomist. So the word proximal means closer to the origin and the word distal, farther from the origin. And so one way we do it, especially with the limbs, is we say, what's the origin? Well, in the upper limb, the origin is basically the shoulder, where the whole upper limb anchors to the trunk. So we would say, well, the elbow is proximal and the wrist is distal because um, elbow is closer to the shoulder than the wrist. Or the wrist is proximal, but your knuckles are distal. And so when we look at this, we'd say the elbow is proximal to the wrist, and in contrast, the wrist is distal to the elbow. That's one way that these words proximal and distal are used. And another way is we take a look at the bones of the hand. There's our carpals, the metacarpals, and there's the phalanges. And so when we look at these three phalanges on your little finger, this one is called the middle phalange. So what do they call these other two? Well, they call this one the proximal phalange, and this one, the distal phalange, because it's farther away and the proximal phalange is closer to the hand. Another way we use it is just in the region. If we'd say this is the proximal part of the femur bone and this is the distal part of the femur bone. That's another way it's very often used. And then also if we have any type of a tubular organ, in this case it's the nephron, there's the glomerulus, and here we have these convoluted renal tubules. Renal means kidney, convoluted means they're curly. And this is the loop of Henle, and then this is another group of convoluted renal tubules, and there's the collecting duct. So they're like, hey, we got two types of convoluted tubules, so what do we call them? Well, this one, they call it the proximal convoluted tubule because it's the one closest to the glomerulus where it starts. And then this one, they call it the distal convoluted tubule because it's farther away. And that, my friends, are the terms proximal and distal in a nutshell.